What's up, Jiggy? Sit down, chill out while we talk about NPC Cruise today. Also, the winner for the LTI Hover Quad is Stirrup. If that's your name right there on that comment, hit me up on Discord, add me as a friend, and DM me because you won't be able to. Otherwise, don't forget the T16000 giveaway, hashtag sticks, and don't forget to check out the links. Join our Discord. There's a lot going on in there. So today we're talking about this. It's kind of a big topic, I feel, within Star Citizen and the community, as a lot of you intend to try to fully cruise ship with AI now it may not be a bad thing we actually don't know what the NPC crews are going to be like and how they will be able to build their knowledge base on this like based on the tasks that they're going to be doing the tasks that they're going to be doing um, now for example we can use tasks like engineering uh, medical component fitters uh, in engineering co-pilot navigation gunners and a bunch of other roles so that like the obviously the list is massive so now I bring to attention this because a lot of the community will be running their fleets with NPC crews and that's fine but we have no idea how advanced they will be or can get I say this because a lot of people out there think they won't be able to pull members out like of the community or pull numbers for the uh, people that they need in their ships like be able to fully crew a ship now they, I say this because a lot of people think, you know, it's not going to be that easy. Now, for some, it might, you know, it might be. For others, it might not be. Now, going into discords and planning events might be an idea. Or even just asking people in the game chat if they want to cruise ships um, when it is a thing, you know. Like, when we have a lot of these ships and we're going to have, an, like, all these fleets out in space. Now, we haven't been given too much info on the AI possibilities, but we have seen some hints in ship Q&As like the Orion's page that says you can fully crew an Orion, you can use AI within the Orion, but, you know, they don't know how efficient it will be. It's not really known how good they're going to, like, act within or how efficient they're going to be at doing the job or the task that you assign to them. So, like I said, a lot of it's unknown. I'm going to guess there's going to be a system where they can pretty, be pretty advanced, but they may have to build skills and learn the tasks you set to them to within the game. I won't say it's impossible because I would like to think that if there is like a chance of running an MSR without real players, you can assign an NPC to the turrets, the scanning room, engineering and basic functions of like whatever you can do on that ship and actually go and do tasks like throughout the ship and the time that you're in that ship when you need to go and load cargo into the smuggling ducts of the MSR if you can actually go and get like NPCs to do that for, for you while you get other like NPCs doing other tasks and whatnot. So let me know down in the comments what you think because this is like going to be a massive challenge. It's going to be a wide variety of topic to talk about here. Now thinking that everything may be possible that would be really great. But now how everything will be covered um, the fact that this will be possible is awesome so thinking that you'll be able to fully crew a ship with nothing but AI will be something cool to see also thinking it might be a little boring because human interaction is what a lot of people want and it's what makes the game to like to be enjoyable a little bit more than what you would usually when you by yourself or you know if you were to have an NPC crew so I'd love for CIG to give us an article explaining how the evolution of the NPC leveling works or how it will be gaining experience because thinking that it will be just a static NPC that can't get any knowledge is not a good thing to think about since it is CIG they're trying to get um, you know as close to lifelike as possible Saying that, I don't think they would make them that good, that they would be better than other real players, but depending on the ship that you have, I would also like to think that they will have NPCs that have strengths and different tasks and different roles. So, like, obviously, if you wanted someone to be able to run engineering, obviously, they specialize in engineering. If you want a gunner, obviously, there's someone with a certain... Um, you know, ranking or style of gunning that is beneficial to your ship. There's just so many different aspects of NPCs. If you've played American Truck Simulator or Euro Truck Simulator, how you can have your NPCs, you don't see them, but you know they're running missions and obviously they gain experience over time. They can run different um, sort of cargo missions. They can do um, like hazmat sort of cargo. They can do uh, heavy uh, hauling. They can do like road trains and whatnot. Just some, like using some examples here. Let me know down in the comments what you think because we really haven't got too much information on about this like I said in the ship Q&A pages they you know they sort of hint at sometimes and 
And sometimes it just contradicts itself. Like the things that they say in some of these Q&As are just so contradictive. It's like, well, one Q&A said they'll be able to do this, but it won't be as efficient. And then some say, well, you can't do that. You probably shouldn't do that. But again, I think there's going to be that sort of medium point where they'll be like, all right, well, we need to get NPCs to be able to do this task and then take some of this NPC power and then they can do this task as well. So I think it needs to be relatable in what people are going to be doing with their vessels and the time that they're going to be spending in them with these NPC crews because if you have an endeavor as well like if you can't get that fully crew you're going to have to have an NPC crew to do what you want and then run those roles that you need because running an endeavor is not going to be somewhat of an easy task you're going to need a crew there to be able to support you and help you in your like your abilities to be able to like overclock components using your um your green rooms and whatnot like obviously running um growing vegetation and any sort of medicinal uh plants and whatnot now going on to something like the reclaimer i think that would be something that would be a little bit more simplistic in terms of being able to get a crew to run that ship as an npc crew i mean there's just so many different aspects i want to think about but then it's just you know it sort of hurts to think about it so i think i want to we need to wait till we get further along but i really would love to cig to give us a little bit of information on this because obviously they are working on um, ais right now and i think that's probably something that sounds like they're working towards because they're putting a lot of that stuff into the game right now and they're working on a lot of that for squadron 42 so it'd be very interesting to see that let me know down in the comments join our discord join the discussion and i'll see you in the verse <laughs>